Welcome, combined series and parallel connection. Example number one, let's go. Calculate the resultant capacitor, capacitance in the figure above. Now you can see that this, is, this place is in series, this place is in parallel. Remember this is a part three of the video. I started with series connection parallel and I went to do a video on parallel connection. Now this is the combination of the two. Now you can see that this place, these two capacitors are connected in series. This is in co connected in parallel. Now the easiest way for you to do this is remember capacitor in parallel, you add them, right? You sum them together. So if you sum this, this will give you six. So by redrawing, that means this will now change to this. The combined capacitor here to now change to this. Remember this is two. This is 3 microfarad. This will have the 6 microfarad, and here will be 4 microfarad. So the total capacitance will be 1 all over CT, 1 all over 2, all over 4. Now, the effective capacitance. Now, the LCM here is 12. 3 into 12 will give you 6. 3 into 12, 4 times 1, 4. 6 into 12 is 2. 2 times 1 will give you 2. Plus this into this 3. 3 times 1 will give you 3. So this is 1. So this will give you 6 plus 4 plus this. This will give you 15 all over 12. Now, by cross multiply, your CT will now be the inverse. 12 divided by 15, which will give you 0 0.8 microfarad. Example number two, we still have the same circuit here, and they want you to calculate the total capacitance to the same. So, by redrawing, you plus this. Now, this is in series, so this is 2 microfarad. So 2 plus 2 plus 2 will give you 6 microfarad because they are in parallel. And once the capacitor is in parallel, we add them together. Now, since they are now in series, so this is 1 all over 2 plus 1 all over 6. Right? So the LCM here is 6. This will give you 3 plus 1. 1 all over CT. So this will give you 4 all over Six. Remember, we want to get CT, not one all over CT. So, by cross multiplying, or you can take this one from top to bottom, from bottom to top, and from top to the bottom. So your CT is six all over four point five microfarad, and that is it for this. The effective capacitance between two points S and Y in the diagram below is 1.5 microfarad. This is the diagram. What is the value of the capacitance C? Now remember, this the capacitance here, they just gave us CC, there's no value, right? They wanted to calculate the capacitance, the value of the capacitance C. Now remember as usual, they are in parallel, so I'm going to redraw. This is X. So if I redraw, here is 2 microfarad, this place is 3C, so this is Y, so this is 3C, right, microfarad. Now remember, what I want to do right now is, remember, when I told you that whenever you have two, from the part two of the video, I told you that if you have two capacitance, you can just do the product all over the sum, meaning that CT, if you don't want to do one all over, is equals to the product of this and this is 2 times 3c, 2 times 3c, all over the sum, 2 plus 3c. Now remember, they already gave us the CT, so they already gave us the CT to be 1.5. So from here is 1.5 is equals to this time, this will give you um, 6c all over 2 plus 3c. This is all over 1, so I can simply cross multiply, right? So 
if you cross multiply, this will give you 6C is 1.5 bracket, this one will times this one, 2 plus 3C. So this will give you 6C. This time this will give you 3 plus 4.5C. Right? Now what you have to do from here is, I will collect my like times, meaning the one that has C will go to one place, the one that does not have C will stay in one place. So from here, what you will get is 6C minus, this will cross the equality sign, so you have 4.5C is equal to this 3. If you minus this, you get 1.5C is equal to 3. So you cross multiply by 1.5 since you want to calculate for C. This will cancel this. C is equal to 3 divided by 1.5. And that will give you 2 microfarad. So the value of C in the diagram there is 2 microfarad. Example number 4. We have a circuit. And the question is calculate the current. Calculate the current above in this diagram. Now, the first thing to, to do, remember, if you want to calculate current, current is charge is equal to current times time. But we don't know charge. Do you understand? Before we do anything here, we have to calculate charge first. And for we to calculate charge, remember that charge is equal to T times V. That means we have to calculate the effective capacitance and we already have the volt in the circuit. So the first thing is for calculate the CT, right? Remember this is in parallel, so we plug them together. So this will give me 60, this you will have 100, right? So if I combine it together, first is 100 times this 100, then I will sum it together, 100 plus 100. So this will give me all over 200, right? So this will cancel this. 2 into this will give me 50 microfarad. So the total capacitance is 50 microfarad. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to get the charge. So the charge is C times V. Remember, we have the voltage. So this is 50 microfarad times 10 raised to minus 6 times the voltage which is 24 and that will give you um, 1.2 times 10 raised to minus 3 right and that is the columns now remember they asked me to calculate the current not the charge so from here q is current times time so time is q all over t now, the problem in this question is we, they did not give us T. So your answer will be 1.2 times 10 raised to the minus 3, you divide everything by T. That is the answer. If you forget to include T in this question, you have failed it. And of course, do not forget um, the SI unit of current is ampere. That is the answer to that question. In this place, um, I made a mistake here. Here is supposed to be 20, not 30. 100 times 100. So if this should cancel this, it will be left with 100. So 2 divided by 100 is 50 microfarad. Do not forget about it, please. Take the correction. Now in this place, um, we want to calculate the total capacitance. Now look at this circuit. Don't be confused. This is in parallel with this. And if I can resolve this circuit, this whole circuit will not be in series. Look at what I'm saying. This plus this is 6. So this circuit would now be like this. Would now be like this. So here is 4 microfarad here will be six microfarad and here will be four microfarad so they are all now in series that means i can continue that one all over ct is one all over four 
plus 1 all over 6 plus 1 all over 4. The LCM here is 24. This into this times this will give you 6 plus 4 plus 6. Right? So this will give you this, this 12. This is 10, 16. So we have 16 all over 24. So 1 all over CT is 16 all over 24. So CT, you can invert it, is 24 all over 16. 24 all over 16, 1.5 microfarad. So that is it. Always be careful to know how to resolve this CQ. That's why I'm taking my time to solve a lot of examples on this. If you're on this my channel to learn, then this is a classwork for you. We have the circuit above, and I ask you to calculate the PD across the five ohm, the five microfarad capacitor. So I want you to only calculate the PD across here. Remember, they have the same charge but different potential, different. Solve it for me. Please drop the answer for me on the comment section of this video and always endeavor to like and subscribe. Thank you very much.